This morning we're going to be talking about something really quickly that will allow us to get the last run date of a stored procedure. And this is important because just as a case in point, there are many production servers that I've accessed in which we will look at a stored procedure and the stored procedure doesn't work because changes to tables or changes to objects have been made and the stored procedure doesn't no longer is compatible with those new objects or with those altered objects. And uh, that's important because we want to know the information as to when was the procedure last called. We also would like to test the module and there's ways in which we can do that. But right now let's just go with how to get that information. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at the table or the view, I'm sorry, sys.dm exec procedure stats. Definitely not what we want to look at. And <clears throat> this view here has some information about store procedures. And what we're going to do is we're going to interjoin. Uh, one second, this will be. Uh, we're going to interjoin sys objects on it. And we will join it on object ID equals o dot object equals o dot object id. Okay. And so you can, if you want, you can actually look through all of this information and um, with this query and look through everything. Uh, well, I can let you know right now, if you're looking for the last call to store procedure, one of the things we're going to want to know is the name of the store procedure. And the next thing we're going to want to look at is the, um, the last execution time. So, and that's why I said it didn't take a lot of time to, to get here. But you can see there's the name of the uh, store procedure and then uh, the last execution time. One second. No, no, no. Sorry. Wrong one. Last execution. I tell you what, this auto thing is annoying. <clears throat> that was the last time. <clears throat> okay. So, as you can see, one of these was run, let's see, on the 5th of December, and one of these was run on the 7th. And um, so, really quick as a note, if you restart your server, this information will be flushed out. Um, so, this is not stored forever. And in fact, I can tell because there's a couple of stored procedures on this database that I ran, ran the other day, and they're not listed here, and the reason is because of that. So... Um, one of the things that I would highly suggest, this is, it's up to you, but one of the things that I highly suggest, especially for production databases, is that you, uh, you store this information in a table. In fact, I have a job each night for our production servers, I mean our production databases, I mean, that actually uh, go through and just update the last date that a stored procedure was called or that was run. And the reason for that is even if we restart servers, which we have to do, that information is still saved in the database and we can look at that. And just as a case in point, um, give you an example, we actually had some code that broke on one of our databases because we had a, um, a developer that called the stored procedure that no longer was compatible with the table. And when we looked at the, the last execution time, it, would, it didn't show up, that's because the server had since been restarted, but when we looked at the, um, the overall changes, we keep all the changes in code as far as the table, the store procedure hadn't matched the table for about eight months and so it's one of those things where we could have easily looked at the last call of the store procedure and been like yeah this is no good and the reason for that is if you no longer need a store procedure then you want to trash it and so in fact on github I have some code uh, that you can look at and it basically does all of that for you it produces um, a job and I think it builds a procedure that goes and inserts the last the, the name of the database the name of the stored procedure and then the last execution time and then you can run it I have this is SQL Server Express so I can't run it here because I can't create a job here uh, but there's a job that runs every evening and basically stores that information off production hours but this is how to get that information um, and again like I said if if you restart things you'll find that this gets flushed out so you'll want to if you need to keep track of it you'll want to actually store it in a table or keep it in a log <clears throat> 